All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Oh, you're not only stalking my brother. You moved into his house to stay with him. Hi! You're shameless and you're wicked. You're shameless for doing this to this small boy. This small boy, you're shameless to do this to him. Now I see the reason why at your age you're not married. Yes. Kai! Sister, this is why you're saying these things to me. Because you mistake I will marry you, though I have married you. That is where you made the mistake. And let me tell you now, for your own good, if for my brother, my brother will never, hi, he will put my feet on the ground. My brother will never marry you. My brother will never marry you. That is what I'm telling you. Did you mean you went all the way to marry a woman on my behalf? As what exactly? What is wrong with it for me to get a wife for you? There's nothing wrong with it. Emily. I'm not just a good one at that. Fresh. Bolaji is the love of my life. She'll always be the love of my life. Nothing can change that. But I owe my sister everything. Really? Yeah. Speaking about Bolaji, I haven't been able to reach her. Who got you pregnant? Linus. Eh? Is he on you? Linus. 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 My eh? get man. No, 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 all right, guys, so on this one, we're going to be talking about something that seems like it's been trending a little bit. It's kind of been around, but it seems like an issue that needs to be addressed. And that's the issue of mothers or big sisters finding wives for their younger brother or their sons. I understand when a parent is really bothered about their son getting married and uh, finding the right woman. You know, usually this happens with mothers. Um, not as frequent as with big sisters, but you know, it could also happen as you can see in this movie that we were just watching, and then it's the crazy big sister. But the point here is this, when these mothers go to pick these daughters or these, you know, females that they want their son to marry, they're almost always vouching for the, the girl. Now, I know and they know that they do not have any clue about the character of the girl itself. In most cases, they only know that the girl's mother is a good woman and in essence, they believe that since the mother is good, that the daughter should also be good. You know, these are two different things with the modern ladies these days. That the mother is good does not translate to the fact that the daughter would also be good in character and personality and every other thing you know social media has changed that whole perspective of you know what a daughter can turn into so it's not a good idea for mothers to continue presenting these girls to their sons in terms of you know uh, i want you to marry this she's a good lady she's this she's that she comes from a good family you know and all this vouching that they vouch for the girls and uh, not really knowing the true character of the girl because you know they really don't hang out with the girl itself they usually hang out with the mother and the mother might be a great person uh, from all you know sides of life but the truth is that the daughters could end up being you know anything anything that the society structures them into being and as you guys can see in this particular movie she ended up sleeping with the gate man Ooh. The gate man. That's how low she went. Now, did she know what she was doing? Was she starstruck? Was the gate man like a big deal for her? We don't know that. But the bottom line is that she knew why she was there, but she still couldn't hold back on, you know, committing such a, you know, big, big, big abomination. 
you know, for somebody that's there for marriage. So here's what I recommend for the mothers that are really concerned that their sons are not getting married at the right time, you know, I recommend talking to your kid about this issue and letting them pick who they want to live with. You know, this thing called marriage, as you guys know, it's not an easy task. People that have been boyfriends and girlfriends for quite a while sometimes still end up not being compatible for marriage. So, you know, expecting total strangers, you know, with this time and age to, you know, understand each other, it doesn't always work out. So it's always better since you're not going to be the person living with the girl. Uh, it's always better to let him make that choice. You know, hope that he makes the best one. Hope that he makes it at a reasonable time. You know, but the idea of forcing somebody down his throat, uh, it's, it, it most of the time doesn't work out well, you know, uh, especially, you know, when you look at it from the flip side. The parent is finding a man for the girl, you know. You got to let these things play out with some sort of true love involved because every other thing as you all know is a struggle when it comes to marriage you know you know these two people that totally don't know each other that haven't been together before just come together and start coexisting it's a lot of work uh, that's why you see people that don't survive uh, a lot of these marriages because for some reason they really did not checkmate themselves in advance to make sure that they are compatible so that's all i have for this one guys you know um, if you love this kind of content please like share subscribe follow this is cj from magnetic studios and i'm here to deliver sense